Salutations. Welcome to Easing. My name is Kevin Garcia. I am one of three Easing teachers here at Lhasa. Uh, this is Electronic Magazine. This is a class where students work together to create a professional quality magazine. That means each student is responsible for interviews, for writing their articles, for helping edit their teammates' articles, photographs, photo manipulation, creating graphic design and, and other kinds of like logos, and of course, ultimately making a finished product that they can show and be proud of. Uh, for each student, uh, they have to figure out what it is they want to write about, lining up with what their team's doing. They have to find the interviewees. They have to interview the interviewees. That's honestly the scary part for most of the kids because they need to kind of stretch their muscles a little bit and meet people that they have not met before. Part of the requirements of the course is that we ask them, don't interview anyone at LASA. Don't interview anyone who's a family member. Don't interview anyone you've known your whole life. They are getting an experience that other teenagers are not going to be able to get. They are meeting people and interviewing them and talking to them as a peer, something that is an invaluable experience. When they go and apply for their first job or apply for applications to college or anything else, they've now had this experience of talking like an adult to an adult. That's why that's so important. And the thing is, that can be as easy or as hard as the students want it to be. For some students, they may want to do a story about food, and they may want to do a story about a food truck owner. I don't think it'd be too hard to find that in Austin. Uh, they all have to do is kind of go up to the food truck, say, excuse me, can I talk to the owner, please? Introduce themselves, and then do an interview. Ideally, set it up another day, take some pictures. That's easy. They need to get three interviews. They're at the food truck, they talk to the owner, talk to the chef, customer comes up, that's three interviews. They did the job. On the flip side, they can make it much more difficult. I had a student once interview the set designer of Lord of the Rings. Uh, he lives in New Zealand, so they had an interview via Skype or phone. Uh, I had a, a student uh, last year uh, interview uh, Leslie Jones uh, from the recent Ghostbusters remake and Saturday Night Live. I had a student interview the world expert on space elevators who apparently lives in India. I, I didn't even know that was a thing until the student told me about this. Basically, that's the idea. They, they find a topic that they love and they interview people about it. Now, for a lot of the students, their first instinct is, I'm gonna do research, this is a research paper, I'm gonna to try to prove a point, but that's not what they're doing. This is not a story where they are writing their opinion. What they are doing is finding somebody else's opinion, collecting it, putting it together in a sense that, uh, that makes sense, and then they are uh, showing it to anyone who wants to read it. They're making it ready to be read by the world. Once the easings are done, they can be found online at issuu.com slash lasa easing. And that's also where you can read older editions from other students. Now, by the way, as far as the class goes, we have different kinds of assignments. Uh, every Tuesday, we try to do like a Tech Tuesday assignment where students try to learn some kind of a skill, whether it's uh, Illustrator or Photoshop or uh, camera techniques. We have Writing Wednesdays where they learn a writing technique and and by the way, as somebody who has taught AP English to seniors before, I love the idea that these students are learning early a different type of writing. They aren't doing creative writing. They aren't doing academic research. They're learning Associated Press style, which means they're learning a form of nonfiction writing that is intended to be read by the general public. They're not writing for academia. They're not writing for themselves. They're not writing for the teacher. It, there are different rules involved. Um, and then we have assignments that are specific to the creation of the easing, where they have to set up the interview, make the interview, edit the story, uh, take the pictures if not necessary, uh, edit pictures if necessary, create graphics that's gonna be necessary. Uh, one thing I say in my class is no clip art from outside. If you want clip art, you make it yourself. Um, now the thing about that, because some things are related directly to the easing, I tell the students they need to treat that like a professional deadline. What that means is, if they can't make that deadline for some reason, it doesn't get pushed back. The ones for the easy, not the daily work kind of stuff. Um, instead, what they need to do is reach out, tell their teammates, tell me, say, hey, look, um, I, I got sick the day that this was gonna come in and I couldn't complete it. Well, while this is stuff that needs to be done on their own, hopefully their teammates know enough about what they're doing that they could help out. And of course, I'm here. I've been a journalist and a professional writer for 20 years now, so I can help out in any way that I can. Um, oh, I didn't really mention anything about myself, did I? So I was a 
reporter out of uh, college and I worked for my city paper in Brownsville, Brownsville Herald for many years. Um, and then I've been a teacher now, this will be my 16th year teaching, uh, my fifth year at Lhasa. And during that time, I've continued to be a freelance writer. Uh, for about 10 years, I was a freelance writer for Marvel Comics, which is a lot of fun to say. It doesn't really do anything that exciting, but it's really cool to say I worked for Marvel. Um, and now I basically just live to see the stories that the kids write, and I just love seeing the kind of stuff they get into. Um, if you ever need to reach out to me, by the way, uh, please do that. Uh, email is the best way, because right now my phone is not actually working. And the best way to email me, and I tell this to all the students, the best way to email me is through the blend email system. You just you know click the inbox, you compose, and then you find where it says uh, favorite classes, because of course this has to be their favorite class. It's just, it's just called that in blend anyway. Um, and then teachers, send a message to me, and that's where I'll get it. A little red dot appears. I know that it can only come from a student, possibly a parent, um, and that's why that's always the priority for me when I check those messages. All right. I hope your student has fun and easy in this year. I know that most students do because as much as it is scary the first time they're doing it, they get to have a lot of fun learning a lot more about something they've never done before and then writing in a way that is at first new and different but also much simpler than ways that they've had to write before. So that makes it a thing. And even students that have graphics experience, they get to learn new techniques. Well, thank you and uh, I hope to see you one time when we don't have to do everything online all the time. Uh, but, I mean, the kids are there, we're wearing masks, we're keeping safe. Um, but uh, stay safe as well. Thanks.